Hi, I'm Tim Lewis, health and fitness specialist at Alamance Regional Medical Center. If you think you're too busy to exercise, think again. Today we're going to show you some exercise that you can fit into your busy schedule, not only at work, but anywhere. Alright, first up today, Kathy and I are going to show you some things to do. Uh, we're going to start with some parallel punches. We're going to take it nice and slow. This is good for your cardiovascular and your heart health. Alright, hit with the part and just punch forward. If you find this is too slow or too easy, you can always speed up. Totally up to you. Remember we're talking about your exercise here. Now we're going to add our legs into it, into what we call board breakers. And all I want you to do is reach, grab your board and break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Remember we're going to go for about 30 seconds before we switch. If you find that's too long, you can shorten your time. And we've got to work both sides of your body. So let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Break it. Good, Kathy. And now we're going to tie the two of those movements together with some punches and some board breakers. So right foot forward, right hand punch, left hand break. Right, left, 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 break. And let's get ready to switch it to the other side. Left foot forward now. And left, right, break. 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 Remember, if it's too fast, you can slow down. If it's too slow, you can speed up. All right, we're gonna add some strength into the exercise today. We're gonna do some squats, and it'll serve both as strength training for your lower body, as well as cardiovascular health for your heart. So Kathy, what we're gonna do is start squatting up and down. If your knees are not the best, you wanna stay a little higher in your squat. If they're pretty good, go a little lower. If you feel like you're not being challenged, go lower than that, okay? Then we're gonna add a second dimension to this with a knee up on the right side, knee up. Squat, left side, knee up. Squat, right side, knee up. Squat, left side, knee up. Squat, knee, squat, knee, squat, knee. Keep that going for about 30 seconds or 15. If you need a break, take one, not too long. Keep moving. Then we're gonna add a right kick, kick, squat, kick, squat, kick. In your squat, make sure you got your eyes up so you can see. Having your eyes up keeps your back in the right position. All right, now that we've concluded all the exercise portions, we're gonna go ahead and cool your body down with some flexibility. Even if you're in your office doing this work or feel a little tight, you can do these, okay, Kathy? So take your right arm, bring it across your chest, and pull toward your body as hard as you can till you feel discomfort. You don't want pain, you just want discomfort, okay? Now, each stretch you wanna hold for about 20 to 30 seconds so you can allow some elasticity to set in, and we'll go to the other arm now. So bring the left across and pull as close as you can. You feel that, Kathy? Now you should feel this around your shoulder going into the upper back area. All right, now let's relax that. Now take your right hand, reach over and grab your pocket. That, that right wrist, grab it with your left hand and pull down toward your pocket. You'll feel that almost going into your neck, but not quite, and along your scapula. Again, for all you keyboarders out there who hands are fixed on that keyboard, this is a good one for you. And let's take it around to the left side. Reach around to that pocket, grab your wrist, and pull down to your pocket. All right, hold that position. Remember, stretches are to be done for 20 to 30 seconds. And relax. Okay, now what I want you to do is step your right foot straight forward. All right, bring your chest back, roll your shoulders. Roll your shoulders. You wanna to squeeze toward the back. Squeeze toward the back. Now pull your shoulders back and hold them there. Push your hips forward. You should feel a slight pull on your left side, your hip flexor. Raise your left arm up 
and lean back even more to intensify that stretch. All right, if you start to wobble, widen your feet because you do not have a good base. And let's change that to the other side. Let's get your left foot forward now, Kathy. Remember, shoulders back, push your hips forward. Feel that pull on the right side because it's important. Put your right hand up in the air and lean back. And remember, if you feel a little wobble from side to side, spread your base of your feet and that should get you a little bit better. Thanks for joining us here at LMS Regional Fitness Center. Anytime you need assistance with any of these exercises or any exercises, come see us here. Get up off your seat, start moving, take care of your entire body. I hope these exercises today can help make a big difference. For more information, come see us or go to conehealth.com fitness.